White ash. The scientific name is pronounced Fraxinus americana. It is a member of the Oleaceae family, which is the olive family. Um, white ash is the most common and one of the more utilized uh, of the ash species, but it's never dominant in the forest. You never find entire stands of white ash. You typically find them as uh, isolated or, or scattered patches of, of trees. Um, they're very picky when it comes to site requirements, and they grow best on fertile, moist, and well-drained soils, and they are typically shade intolerant. They don't like uh, to be shaded out. The most distinguishing uh, factor of uh, white ash is that it is a compound leaf with five to nine leaflets, but uh, it is opposite, as you can see from, uh, from the upper right picture. Um, it has nice chocolatey round, uh, brown buds that are very noticeable or distinct for winter identification, and the lateral bud kind of sits within a crescent-shaped uh, leaf scar, and that's also another distinguishing characteristic for uh, this particular ash. Uh, opposite but compound leafed. The uh, winged seeds or samaras uh, provide a lot of food for many kinds of birds. Uh, the samaras of white ash are not curved and helicoptery like the maples but they do have a similar seed structure. And the bark is also very characteristic. Uh, mature trees have uh, kind of an interlaced and furrowed bark, uh, light to dark gray or brown um, sometimes blocky. Sometimes you can get confused with other species because um, the raised furrows or ridges kind of appear uh, in a blocky format. Here's a picture of the native range of Fraxinus americana. As you can see, it's very widespread, and the wood is tough, strong, very resistant to shock, and is used a lot uh, in flooring, but also uh, more popularly as baseball bats. The Louisville slugger was a common uh, use or common tree used for those particular baseball bats which, which is again is Fraxinus americana or white ash